Would I be the a-hole if I kept my dad's dog against my girlfriend's wishes? I 32M and my girlfriend Ellen 33F have been together for two years, seven months, and have been living in the same, my, house for eight months. The issue in question arose when my dad 58M gave me his dog Amila, 6F, she was a rescue, so we don't know her exact age. Before I had even met Ellen I made a promise with my dad to take Mila in if he couldn't care for her, which is something I discussed with Ellen before she even moved in, and she had no complaints then. My dad fell ill four months ago, and of course I took Mila in. He is not getting better, so he asked me to officially adopt her and I agreed. Ellen was furious that I made this decision without consulting her. Despite me having told her about the arrangement in the past. Although I feed, walk, groom and manage all of Mila's needs, financially and otherwise, Ellen said she had to put her foot down on this issue. I asked Ellen if there were any specific reasons she was so opposed us keeping Mila, and she stated the following, she said that since she works from home full time, whereas I'm closer to 50 50ths, that I can't understand how much having a dog around affects her work, she makes clay art, crockery, that sort of thing, having a dog is expensive, and it will be a drain on our finances, which are not joined, I'll note, and I've paid for everything so far, it will make it more difficult for us. If we ever want to have a child. Our house is not huge, so it doesn't make sense to have a big dog like Mila, she has friends who have severe dog hair allergies, and she doesn't want them to feel they can't visit anymore, none of her complaints had anything to do with any bad behavior. Mila does not jump on people or furniture, bite, bark at visitors, she will follow commands to leave a room if they're given to her etc. I see that these are reasonable objections to not taking Mila in but I stayed firm in my position. Ellen said that if I loved her, I would make other arrangements, and at this stage I was getting a bit angry, so what I said next may have been a little harsh. I told her, love has nothing to do with this. My first responsibilities are my dad and Mila, and nothing you say will convince me to send her away. If you seriously can't cope with that, you can get out of my home. Ellen burst into tears at this and left to go stay with her mom, citing that I clearly need time to think this over. A bunch of her friends who know me have been telling me that I'm a total AH for prioritizing a dog over my girlfriend of nearly three years, but my own friends have been telling me to stand my ground. Ellen has been radio silent, has not come home and is not responding to my texts. So I guess I'm looking for some unbiased opinions on the matter. Update. Ellen finally agreed to meet up earlier today. Ironically, though people were telling me to break up with her, she beat me to the punch. We talked over coffees for a few hours, and what many of you suggested was true, her real reason for not wanting to keep Mila was separate from all of the ones she offered me. She said that she thinks I've just changed too much since we got her, and when I asked what she meant she stated that I'm less passionate and engaged with her than before. I don't really know if I can do anything with that. Whether it's to do with the stress of my father's condition or not, but she basically said I'm not the person she fell in love with anymore. She's packing up her things even as I type this. It's hard in a way I can't describe, like all of a sudden I'm losing all of the people I love. But I also know that I can't control her decision to leave if that's what she wants, in brighter news, Mila is doing well. Some of you were concerned that Ellen might spirit her away, but she's still very much around. I brought her to the hospital park area to see my dad and she was over the moon to be with him again, so I'll probably keep that up as long as he's able. I've also taken up the recommendations to find a doggy daycare for the days I'm in the office. I'll start dropping her off there next week, and if all goes well I'm sure she'll make plenty of friends. There isn't much else to say, other than thank you. There's been an enormous amount of love and support coming from this subreddit. People were sending dozens of heartfelt messages, I even had to turn my phone off because all the notifications were too much of a distraction at work. I wanted to let you know all your kind words mean so much to me, even if I felt a little too awkward to respond to most of the messages. It's a strange and difficult time all around for Mila and I, but we'll try and navigate it as best we can. That's all, I suppose. Thank you for your time.